Hey everybody, Neil with HTC One Soft Modder here to give you 10 things you're not doing with your HTC One. Some tips and tricks. Tip number one as some of us know, Blink Feed is not all that popular, but some of us do enjoy it, like myself. But if you don't want to be bombarded with all this live news and all these feeds after unlocking your phone to use it, there's an easy way just to move it from being your default. You want to tap and hold on empty space on your screen. And right here you see three thumbnails of your three screens. Tap and hold the one you want to set as default and just drag it to set as home. So from now on when you go home, it's no longer blink feed, but you will still have the luxury of having blink feed just one swipe away. Tip number two. This is actually really cool if you're having issues with your phone and you want to just diagnose it yourself. Go to the dialer and dial this code. It's star hashtag star hashtag three four two four hashtag star hashtag and right after you press the last star it's going to take you to this screen it's the HTC function test and you're just going to accept that and bring up all these boxes you can check and you can actually go down here to more and you can see all the tests that can actually run or you can actually select all like I have right here and just run the test after this it will run a series of tests like right here it's uh, the flashlight test you just click on it'll ask you does it work normally yes it does if not you click no but it'll actually test this feature on the phone and it'll actually let you know if it passed the test and you can actually diagnose almost every feature on your phone like lights, LED lights, sensors, camera tip number three how to enable developer options. Now developer options actually once enabled you can go inside and enable USB debugging. Why you'd want that? If you want to access your device via PC with Android SDK in order to flash a custom ROM it's uh, really useful if you want to take advantage of that. You just go to settings go all the way down to about. Once in about go to software information click more and go to build number now you're gonna tap on build number about seven or eight times and it'll actually do a countdown and tell you how many steps away you are steps meaning taps so if you see mine says no need you're already a developer so when you go back you'll go down and see developer options now enabled and in here there's a couple more options like USB debugging Tip number four. So here's a quick tip on how to make your phone go just a little bit faster for you if you think it's going a little too slow. You're going to go to settings, go all the way down now that you're a developer. Once in developer options, go all the way down to advanced. Once in advanced, scroll down till you see animation. Now, right now, mine is checked off, but it should be checked on normally. And you're going to uncheck that. And what that's going to do is actually cut the time it takes for um, apps and screens to appear. If you notice, there's like a, a little fade in, fade out when you click on certain things. And what that's going to do is cut the time it takes for that to happen. Tip number five. Just a cool little gesture on how to scroll through your contacts a little faster. Because if you noticed, most phones will have um, the alphabet just cascading down here and you can actually like click on the letter and it'll bring up all the contacts with that letter but HTC One doesn't have that so instead of scrolling all the way down and say you don't feel like typing it up here to search here's a cool little way to scroll through it faster with, uh, with two fingers just scroll up and down and as you see it'll actually bring up like an alphabet box and you can actually find the letter you want. So say I want to call my mom. Just go to M. No, actually just go to my mom because I love her so much. So that's a cool little tip if you didn't know already. Tip number six. 
How to switch between your front and camera with just one gesture. So you go to camera, and as you notice, there's not a little icon lane. You switch from your front and back camera. How you usually do is go to the options and click front or main. So let's show you how to do this with just a single swipe because in case you want to take an emergency selfie. So once in your camera, all you have to do is go from one side of the screen to the other in a single swipe. It actually works every way. And if you're doing a landscape shot, you actually go from top to bottom or bottom to top. Oh. And that's just a quick little tip on how to switch your camera perspective. Enjoy that. Here's an awesome tip. Instead of going into settings and clicking in large text, all you can do is go into a conversation. And if you think your text is a little too small and you want to enlarge it, all you have to do is actually just pinch out and it will enlarge your text size. And you actually pinch in to re-shrink it. But once you enlarge it, the cool thing is that you go back into other conversations and the text will will now be enlarged in all your conversations. So so you have a family member that can't read too well or has bad eyesight, you can actually fix their HTC now so they can actually see a little bit better. Enjoy that. Tip number eight. Before you would have to download a third party app in order to secure your phone if you lost it. But now on, you can actually do this by going to android.com slash device manager and assuming that you already have a Google account Google Play account since you have an HTC One, it'll actually automatically load this onto your device. And this actually enables you to um, locate your device via your computer. But if you want to be able to um, wipe it and lock the device, you're actually going to have to go into settings, go down to security, go down to device administrators and now that this Android device manager is available you actually click on it and you activate it so not only can you locate your phone through your computer but you will actually be able to remotely swipe it sorry wipe it and you'll be able to lock it so in case you have any sensitive content that you don't want a stranger to see you can actually keep them from seeing it now tip number nine now if you've updated your your device to Android 4.3, this is a cool new feature. Before it was kind of a hassle to remove things from your dock. You could only do it under um under the application screen. You couldn't do it from your home screen. Well from now on you can actually do that, because before you would actually try to do this action and it would actually just replace it down here. You would still have Google Chrome in my case, and you would have it here as well. Well now you can actually remove it completely and you can also choose to drag it up here to remove and now I can replace it with something. Before the action was only available if you went under apps and did it from this screen. Well that's not an issue now with version 4.3. Alright here's a cool little tip on how to use your volume rockers to control the volume on your TV. So assuming you've already uh, Sync to your HTC One with your television. Instead of using the actual controls on the touch screen, you can actually just use the rockers instead if you want to be a little lazier. So enjoy that tip. So there's your list for 10 things you're not doing with your HTC One. Hopefully this allows you to enjoy your phone that much more. For more detailed description of these tips, just look up the how-to guide. Thanks.